also brought to you by lace anchors and you're gonna see exactly how to use those right now here we go okay so I hopefully I remembered this it was a little bit tricky let me zoom this in for you okay so on this video we're actually gonna be using our blue tip rocket ink laces I already have my lace anchor installed on this end. Lace anchors allow you to start and finish lacing in any eyelet, so you don't have to tie the ends together, you don't have to stand on laces, shove laces inside your shoes, etc. All right, so we're gonna start underneath this bottom eyelet down here. That's the first step is to come out of it, so you're gonna wanna anchor behind that eyelet. You're then gonna go straight across to this side. Did I say across again? It's across. I know I have a problem with adding a T on a cross for some reason. Okay, then you're gonna take your lace straight to the third hole up on this side. Now you're gonna wanna do opposite. If you want the no to face the other way, you'll do opposite of what I'm doing in this video. So I'm coming out of that third hole up. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Now I'll go straight across into the third hole on this side. So as you can see now, we've got the the starting of our O there. Now you go straight up one hole and you're gonna come out of it just like that and you'll go straight across to this side and that's gonna be the bottom of your end there. You're then going to go down back to this hole but you're gonna come out of it. So go underneath come out of that hole. Try to keep your laces straight when you're doing this, kind of clean so they're not all twisted up at the end, because it'll be a nightmare to go back and try to fix it, so do it right from the beginning. Then you're gonna go into the bottom hole. Sorry. Just like that. So you can see I've got this side of my O done. And then you're gonna go back up and come out of this hole, which is the fourth hole up. You can pause this video as you're going along. It's going too fast for you. Now I'm gonna go straight across, across with no T, across into this top eyelet. Now you can see we've got part of our O done, the ends coming along. Now you're gonna go straight down to the very bottom. On this side. You're gonna come back out of that hole. Be a little bit tricky. And you're gonna go into the third hole up here to finish off the O. Just like that. And to finish off, you're gonna come out of the top hole here. And straight across to finish the end off. And I'll show you how to install the lace anchor now. So at this point, you're gonna wanna slide your foot in I do anyways, especially with Converse, because to make Converse a slip-on, you have to have the perfect tension. Otherwise, it's too tight or too loose and it's a pain, so. Slip your foot in and then slide your lace anchor on while your foot's in your shoe. Push it down, like that, towards touching the inside of your shoe. And then come back out of the top hole. And we have other videos on how to install your lace anchor if this isn't clear enough for you. So it should look like that at this point. Test fit it, get your foot in, make sure you like the fit or feel. And then you're gonna go over those little spikes on the top and into this locking slot. At this point it should look like that. Pull your lace out. Now I always trim all the extra off, but you can see our lace, these are our 36 inch laces. Um, you can get them on our website and they're perfect length for like this lace pattern and a bunch of other ones. That way you don't have to trim it. That's not much to have inside of your shoe. But I usually trim it anyways. Leave about an inch or so. I just hate standing or the feel of anything uncomfortable inside my shoes. Tuck that down in. I'll stuff this for you so you can see the end result. 
And that's it. That's how you do the no lace pattern by Lace Anchors. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out our, uh, our 